What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the FSR headquarters. We're gonna be doing a quick little walk around slash my personal review of the FSR Evolution V2. Uh, I've camped in this tent. I've probably spent 15 nights in this tent already. Um, I've slept in zero degrees, you know, negative degrees with wind chill, with snow. I've slept in 70, 75 degrees out near the uh, salt flats on this last trip that we did. My personal experience with the tent has been amazing with it. Um, I have the crossbars on top, we'll go into that. We'll go into how easy it is to set up, close the inside of the tent with the air core mattress, the built-in lights, um, as well as all of the pockets and just how well this tent ventilates. And I'll show you how to set it up so it ventilates properly if you're using it this summer. Let's jump in. So first things first, setting up the tent. You've got eight little latches to pop off. Now, little pro tip, if you have the 270 awning, which I highly, highly recommend, whatever side you mount the awning to, you have to flip those latches 180 degrees. So you can see on mine, these ones that have the awning side here are flipped upside down. Whereas these ones are the original way that the tent comes with but we've got eight quick latches to release here and then we'll go ahead and start pushing the tent up. Once you've got all eight of your latches undone, I personally like to start with whatever side the ladder is on. Um, that's typically gonna be your side that has a little bit of overhang, makes it a little bit easier to pop it up. So I push this side up first. And you'll have gas struts as well, like that to help you out. Now there's two options for this one, personal preference. Uh, Logan, who works here at FSR, likes to climb into the tent and push up the backside from the inside, which I think is genius. But how I've been setting it up is I just go push it from the back real quick. And those gas struts really help you out. They just push them up for you nice and easy. Now you've got your tent all set up. The nice thing about this tent compared to a lot of tents on the market is how much stuff you can store inside. So for me, and I'll show you this in a minute, but I've got everything from sleeping bags, pillows, zero degree bags, blankets, my ladder lives in here. Everything just kind of stays in here, which is really, really nice, including the ladder. So you don't have to lug this around and waste space in the back of your truck, in your cab, anything like that. It's a quick little flip up, put it on your mounts, release the strap and start going down with it. Now, when setting up your tent and your ladder, what you wanna do is have as many stacks of steps towards the top and not bundled up in the middle. The more stacks you have up here, the more supported the ladder is. You don't wanna set up a, a rooftop tent fully extended so you're climbing up a hill essentially. You wanna make it so that you've got stacks towards the top so that the, la the ladder is actually supported the way it should be. So now the ladder is set up, it's nice and tight, it doesn't have downplay, so it's secure. Let's go inside. So one of the first things you'll see when you climb up into the tent is this bungee cord, and it basically runs from that back wall over to this little hook here. You're gonna wanna release that. That is for when you put the ladder away, you pull that from across there over to here, and it's gonna help suck in that back wall. But let's go inside, turn on some lights and show you guys around. So now that we're in the tent, you can see I'm sitting up here and I'm six foot two and I've still got headroom here, which is really, really nice in this tent. The really, really cool thing is since it pops straight up, you have the same headroom throughout the entire length of the tent. We've got our LED strip here that's built in. Just get a little portable power bank, put in this pocket up here and you've got light. The nice thing with this is it's actually dimmable. So you can actually make it as light as you want in here or as dark as you want in here. The really nice thing about the, the light is you can make it so that, again, it's as light as you want, as dark as you want, but it runs the full length of the tent on the back side. You've also got ventilation right here, which makes a huge difference when camping in the heat. So what this will do is since heat rises, the heat will come up here, right? It'll rise out 
but then you can see that the fabric is not attached to the aluminum roof, which means the heat that's coming from the top is not transferring in. So as the heat is going out of this roof, if you open these back and front windows as well, you'll have cool air coming through as the heat is escaping. You've also got bug nets, front, back, both sides. You've got a ventilation pouch over here as well. Depending on how many people you have in there, if it's cold and you have two people sleeping in here, you don't want it to be a lot of condensation, which actually the tri-layer does a really, really good job of getting that out of there. You've got cell phone pockets, tablet pockets um, with clear material so you can see if you get a text message or a call from a loved one. Um, like my wife is pregnant right now, so whenever I camp, I put my phone facing outwards in case she has to call me. You've got big coat pockets on both sides. I camp in the winter, so I have a diesel heater. So I have a carbon monoxide sensor here. Um, that lives in here. You've got another clear pouch over here if you want to have like a movie night. But this tent, again, has been my absolute favorite to sleep in out of every single tent that I've had. I mean, it does so well in the cold. It does so well in the heat. And there's so many options for it as far as ventilation, as far as um, the tri-layer technology. You've got, it's completely black out in here. So when we were in, oh, there we go. When we were in the salt flats and we woke up in a 77.5, I opened up the roof and I opened up the uh, windows at my feet and my head and it was nice and cool and everybody else got out of their tent probably an hour, hour and a half earlier than I did because they were too hot in their tents. So for anybody camping in the summer, this is a really, really good option for this. As well as in the winter, once you zip everything up, you can run a diesel heater through one of your windows like I do. And it's so toasty in there and it's dry too, which is really, really nice. But you've got, again, with the diesel heater, I'll open these little side ones up in the corners, both sides, front and back, um, just to help ventilate that diesel heater heat and air. So I don't get too hot, not too cold, and you know, get everything flowing through the tent. But yeah, it's, it's a really nice setup. Let me show you what I have in the tent 24 seven at all times to help me with my family and carrying our gear. So I don't have to waste space in the cabin with the two Bernice Mountain Dogs, uh, soon to be kid, or even putting stuff in the bed of my truck. Check this out. All right, so now you can see inside the tent a little bit. This pillow, my little camping pillow, lives in here 24 seven. I've got an Aeronaut blanket, which is really nice. It's super, super warm. Folds down super thin, which is really nice. It lives in here. Uh, I've got a heated blanket. Wife gets cold easily. I've got a zero degree sleeping bag that I have folded out the full length and width of the tent. If I need it, I just roll myself into it, zip it up if I need it. This thing is the absolute best right here. So this is an air core mattress. So you can have it so it only lets air in and not out or out and not in. So right now it's not really, really pumped up, but it's still really comfortable. What I typically do is I'll close one end completely and I'll have one end available to me. And as I'm setting up camp, I'll flip this so it's only letting air in and not out. And then before bed, I'll give it like three or four breaths and then close it up and I'm good to go. When I wake up, I'll just release the air out of it. And the nice thing with these tents is you don't have to release all of the air out with all the stuff I have in here. I don't even have to release the, the air out of the mattress all the way just to close it, which is a huge bonus. Bug mesh right there. And this is that overhang that I was talking about here. So if it does start to rain or anything like that, you can sit on your tent on the outside and have some overhead coverage as well. So another huge bonus. Moving back to the outside here. So with every single FSR tent that you purchase, you do get shoe pouches. There's one there and one over here. They do fold up really nice and small, little Velcro strap, release it. You can use it for shoe storage. This one's got um, stuff for like a tool bag, anything like that you wanna store in here, you can do that with this. But another really key feature to this tent is there's a little track up there in that overhang and they've got an awning that you can actually slide into the track and connect it down to the hub series tents. So you have a full enclosed kind of like little house. So when closing your tent, I usually start from the back just because you have this strap on the back side, which helps you pull the, uh, the back of the tent closed. So I usually grab the strap, 
pull it down. Go ahead and start tucking. Tuck in the sides a little bit. Reach over, tuck in the sides. And then I'll just pay attention to the back side of it to try and keep as much material in there as I possibly can. And then what I usually do, just to keep this side down, while I do the front side, is I'll latch this side down. So that way when I pull the other side down, it's not gonna try and pop it up. Let's get the other side. So with the back side closed, we can actually climb up here again. And with the overhang, I'll just reach up and grab that. And then just kind of tuck everything in as I'm closing it from the front and from the sides as best I can. Again, I have a lot of stuff in here, so the way I have to close this is probably gonna be a little bit different from when you have to close it, because I personally don't like to uh, let all the air out of the mattress. So what I'll do is I'll climb on the top, latch down this front side, get the front and the back of the tent, like so. And now from here, I can go and grab the other uh, tie down points. But that is the gist of the tent. All right, so I hope that gives you guys a good idea of how good this tent is and you know how it's been my personal favorite tent to use. Again, I mean, I've slept in this thing zero degrees. I've slept in this thing 75 degrees. Um, it's a good all around tent and bang for the buck. I mean, it's not like some other name brands out there where you buy this tent, you spend thousands of dollars on a tent and then you have to buy shoe pouches and then you have to buy insulated liners and you have to buy all these little add-ons and stupid things to make it a really usable all season tent. This out of the box comes with everything you really need other than your bedding, right? You need blanket, sleeping bag, pillow, and you're done. It comes with the lights. It comes with the shoe pouches. It comes, the whole tent is an insulated liner. You saw how it ventilates. You have an overhang. You can mount your awning straight to it. It's a no brainer when it comes to getting a tent. If you can do a full height rack or you have a long bed truck or a full size truck, this is the way to go. I, I did the whole half right or half height rack with an opening, you know, side opening tent. And that was fine. It was nice because I could get into my garage when I lived in an apartment. But now that I have the house, going full height, having all the space in the bed, having the tent be as big as it is. So, you know, I can fit in there, my wife can fit in there, and at least one of our Bernice Mountain Dogs can fit in there. So if you're a small family, you know, you, your spouse, and a, and a child, you guys can fit in there and you can sleep in there really comfortably. And it's basically however you want it to be. You can make that air core as soft or as hard as you want it for your personal preference. Like I said, when I do mine, I let it fill itself up while I'm setting up camp before bed, three to five puffs of air from my lungs into the mattress and I'm golden. Um, nice thing again is everything lives in there. I don't have to waste room in my cab. I don't have to waste room in my bed. I don't have to worry about things getting wet. It all just lives up there. Um, by far, I think the best tent. Uh, FSR has a new tent coming out very, very soon. I think we're gonna do a review and walk around of that. And I think I'm gonna go and test that one out as well. Give you guys my honest review on that one. That's one thing I wanna mention here is anytime I review something, I always give my honest opinion on it because at the end of the day, if I recommend a product to you and it's not good, my name's on it. I don't wanna damage my name when recommending products to you guys. So whenever I do these videos, it's always gonna be my 100% honest, non-biased review. Um, if something sucks, I'll tell you it sucks. But if something's really, really good, like this tent is, you'll be the first ones to know. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions on the tent, feel free to comment down below. I'll link the FSR site in the description down below. I believe you can use promo code the Dark Yoda for a little discount on their entire site. So if you decide you wanna go with a different tent, you can do that. If you wanna get the Evo V2, like mine here, you can do that. They also have a short version to help fit on short beds a little bit better. Um, so you don't have to have a full height rack. You will still have some overhang. But for me, I'm about 6'2", 250 pounds right now. Um, this full size one, the long, is the way to go. Hope you guys like the video. Peace.